Okay, let's get started with our card. I have to use Calypso Coral. The Jar of Love stamp set, I'm specifically using this stamp, this stamp, and this stamp. I am going to use the Everyday Jar Framelits, but the um, <clears throat> stamps I've chosen are easy enough that you could cut, fussy cut them if you don't have that. Um, but since I have it, I'm going to use it. I have my basic supplies, my glue dots, because I don't know which one I'm going to use, my bone folder, my scissors, tear and tape, um, mm, the multi-purpose glue. I have my sponge because I am going to sponge, um, do some sponging today. So I have my sponge ready to go. I have a scrap of white, <clears throat> excuse me, and a scrap of Calypso Coral. I have a piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a fourth. And I have my card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. And I'm gonna start with my sponging. I have a scrap paper too, since I'm gonna be doing my sponging. And let me get my card ready because the sponging is gonna be on the front. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to take, and I want it graduated so it's gonna be light and get darker. So I'm gonna start down here and I'm using a very light hand. Okay, um, that piece may need to change because I started in too far. All right, if you tap off after you ink it up, you avoid that and I totally forgot, so. And then don't press hard, start really light and press harder as you go. That avoids it also. And I want it really dark up here. Oops, almost forgot. So I'm going to spend a little time up here on this one. Okay, I like that. Um, since I forgot and did this, this piece won't work because it shows over there. So what I think I'm going to do is just cut another one of these and I'm going to use it the same size as the card front. So four and a fourth by five and a half. Let me go do that so that I can show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, I've cut my paper and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Before I do that, I'm going to do because I'm going to be doing some um, stamping, I mean cutting of the other things that I've stamped. So what I'm going to take and do is I want this down here at the bottom because I don't want the whole thing. So I'm masking and I'm going to put this here and if I line that up I'm going to put this up a little higher. Alright, so I've got that. Now, what else? I, the other thing I'm going to do, that the card base is basically done. Now I have to do my other pieces. So I'm pulling in my um, scrap paper and I'm going to off stamp my flower, the big part. And don't worry about that piece because It'll, um, I don't know how many I'm going to need, so I'm just going to stamp a bunch. I can always throw them in the case and use them on another project. But I'd rather have too many than not enough. Okay, now I'm going to come back with my other piece, and I'm going to stamp it like so.
just to give some texture and dimension. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my framelit to cut this out. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a frame for this so that what I sponged peeks out. So in order to do that, I've got to see where my coloring is and make some pencil marks. Now, make sure you use a mechanical pencil because the eraser on these is very easy to erase. And I know I have to come over to here. Where's my top? Uh, my top can come to there. My side over here and my base um, down here and that may be up too high so <clears throat> I may be doing some drawing of some lines but what I'm going to take and do is I'm going to take this framelit and I'm going to use it to cut my frame around it so I have some a little bit of interest on the edge I'm going to cut all of that and I will return I thought I would come back and show you what I'm doing before I started. Um, but what I've done is I've taken the framelit and I've lined up, there's the mark. There's the mark that I want it to be. So I'm lining up the outside of the framelit there and I've got the top so that it doesn't go past that point there. And I'm using some painter's tape to hold it in place. Um, and that's what I'll do all the way around. Okay, I've cut my first one and I'm saving those because I can use those on another card. What I'm gonna do with my second one is I'm doing the top and I'm watching this side here. So I may have to angle it some a little bit. And I'm watching that spot there. So I'm gonna come down there and now I'll cut this one okay I've cut my second one and now I want to cut my third one and this one I'm gonna come up I didn't go quite down low enough because you don't want um, you want it to be cut out so I'll go back and I'll just trim that with scissors okay this is what you want you want to make sure that it cuts that out now this one what I'm gonna take and do is I'm going to angle this um, and I'm going to go up a little higher than that so that I get that center cut out and it'll work out I think we'll find out all right so that's what I've done okay I didn't quite get this side so I'm going to take and just I'm going to snip it and I'm gonna snip this like so. And now I have the inside of my frame. It would have been great if I could have angled it so that I got more on the edge, but that's okay because this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this on top of here like so after I erase my pencil lines and I'm gonna use, a, use dimensionals to hold it up. So let me erase my pencil lines and do that. Okay, I've got my pieces cut and then I took and on the back I added tons of dimensionals. Since this is a frame I want it to pop it up. If you have foam tape that would be perfect to use for it. Um, I just used our dimensionals and the edges and scraps. So with that in mind, here's what I'm going to do. I've got to pull all this off, which could take a little while. Okay, I've got all my pieces off my back and I'm ready to put it down. I want this piece up here for some interest because I'm going to have some things going on down here. So what I'm gonna take and do is I'm going to, I'm gonna turn it sideways, I'm better at it this way. I'm gonna line up, actually I'm gonna do it this way. Line up this bottom corner and this bottom edge and then work my way up 
like so. Now you're thinking, that's awfully plain. Well, we're not done. I'm going to add some sprigs and flowers down here. I might use glue dots for that, but I'm going to need dimensionals back here. So let me see what I can come up with. Okay, I'm ready. I took our little mini glue dots and I cut them in half and I put them on the back of these because it's going to need that and I will probably roll a glue dot to put down here. So let's start with the first one. I don't know how many I'm going to use so I just fixed all four. Okay, start with the first one right about there and then I'm going to take a glue dot and my pokey tool and I'm going to roll it so that it's really really skinny I don't know if you can see that and then I'm gonna put it underneath here and stick it down then if I have some sticking out I just use my pokey tool and push it back under so there's one down and you can also hide it with your flowers let's try a second one and this one I think I want down further. I may only use three. And what I'm going to take and do is this is too long, so I'm going to just cut it off. Take my glue dots, roll it up. And stick it under. Push that under and I think I need one more I might put that other one up at the top just to kind of see I'm kind of hiding those stems that I didn't go down far enough on okay another glue dot okay stick it under here there. Um, I may wait and see. It may be too much. So we'll wait and see. Alright, time for some flowers. And I'm going to use some glue dots to get started with that. So I'm going to stick a flower here. Hide the bottoms of those stems. And now I need some dimensionals. And I've kind of used up almost all my dimensionals. I need a new new sheet. Alright. I think I'm going to stick one there with a dimensional. As you can see I'm using the edges. Alright just because it needs something there. All right, what do you think? Does it need more? Let's just play and see. I won't stick anything down. Oh, I think I'm gonna stick one there. I think it would look nice there. And you know, for your frame, you can use anything. Um, give me one more dimensional. And I think I'm going to stop with the flowers, like so. And if you don't want anything up here, you could put a sentiment up there. Um, I've got some cute ones in here. Um, there's hello, there's friend. Maybe that's what I'll do. Of course, I should have done it before I put it down because it's not going to stamp right. But there are some cute ones in there you could use. I'm not going to chance it. And I think what I'm going to take and do is... I think I'm going to do that one like that up there. What do you think? I think it'll work. All right, and I need one more piece of dimensional. So let me... Get my yucky scissors out to cut, to put on the stem. I'm just going to leave it on my finger for the time being. 
stick it down. Once I put this down, like that, and then, oh, got a backing stuck to me. And then this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait and cut it, because I wanna, all right, let me see if I can get this on here. That'll work. All right, let me cut this piece off because it's showing. And then I'll take this off. Oh, the backing, not the dimensional. I'm gonna stick that down like so. And it's, now I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna flip this over. And what I'm gonna take and do is I'm gonna use my scissors to trim it so it goes all the way to the end and there we have it ladies cute card great idea I might need to do something there that's showing I got one more flower I'm gonna tuck it under don't you love it when I think I'm done and I come back and say no we got to do this Hide that stem. I missed that one. I managed to hide the other one. There we go. Now I'm okay. Nothing is showing. All right. We haven't done the inside in the envelope. Okay. I will do that and be back to share it with you.